Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Muppets Cake Pops tutorial where today I'm going to be showing you how to make these absolutely gorgeous Kermit the Frog Cake Pops and also his glamorous counterpart, the beautiful Miss Piggy Cake Pops. The things that you'll need for today's tutorial, I've got some printables so I will leave a link to those printable bodies in the description box below. You can print those out yourself. I've got a sour strap. I've got down here some candy, so I'm using some mini marshmallows and I've just got a couple of just a pale coloured M&M and a couple of round sixlets. I've got a piece of taffy or fruit chew. I've got a little bit of fondant or modelling chocolate. I'm using white and blue here and a Ziploc bag. I've got a little bit of sticky tape, two cake pop balls, one for each of our Muppets, a couple of toothpicks and an edible marker. I've got a pair of scissors, a knife and a fondant roller. I'm using a couple of piping tips. So I'm just using these as little circle cutters. You can also use the tops of pen lids or if you've got really small circle cutters. I've got some lollipop sticks and I'm also using some paper straws just to add a bit more colour to my cake pops. I've got my melted chocolate or candy melts in green, kind of like a tan colour for Miss Piggy's face and then a pale yellow for her hair. So let's get started. So first up, we're going to shape our cake pop balls. These have been refrigerated, but they're not super firm. So for Kermit's face, you want to basically make it into like a little bit of a pointed front for the front of his snout. And then you want to take your knife and we're going to make a bit of an incision about halfway down that cake pop ball. And then you're going to come down under that incision and make a second one to cut out like a little chunk for his mouth. So then use your fingers just to taper off the point of his nose a little bit because Kermit does have quite sort of a pointed nose or a sticky outy nose and just neaten up those edges with your fingers. Pop that one back into the refrigerator because you want that to be really, really nice and firmly set so that it holds its shape. Next for our Miss Piggy, she can be pretty much a ball, but what you do want to give her here is just a very, very slight shape. So she's almost got like a little bit of a taper down to a chin, not too pointy on her chin, but just sort of some, I guess, some high cheekbones or some low cheekbones to give her face a little bit of shape. That one can go back into the fridge as well. Once your pops are set, you can start making some of your details. So I'm just using my scissors and sour strap just to cut out like a little half circle shape and that's going to sit inside Kermit's mouth. So just size it up. You want it to be ever so slightly smaller than the inside of the bottom of his mouth. Take your lollipop stick and you want to dip it into those little candy melts just to make our little chocolate seal and then slide it into the bottom of Kermit's head and you'll see I'm sort of twisting it as I stick it in. Take your green straw and stick it straight down in while those candy melts are still wet because they're actually going to help glue it to the cake pop. Take your Miss Piggy now, she should be set as well and the same thing, a little bit of that skin coloured chocolate straight onto the lollipop stick, the lollipop stick in the bottom of your pop ball and then the pink and white straw glued in. Now, for our details, you'll have your little Kermit mouth, which you've already sized. Take one of your mini marshmallows and cut it on an angle in half to give you two little piggy ears. You want one M&M in a light colour if possible and two of those sixlets. So for sixlets, you can either use small round sixlet sprinkles or you can just use something like mint lollies. Take that white fondant now and roll it out quite nice and thin and then you want to use that larger piping tip to cut two larger circles and then just round them off with your fingers so that they're nice and neat on the edges. Rolling out your blue fondant now as thin as you can possibly get it, really, really thin and then you want to take that smaller circle cutter and just cut out two smaller circles for the blues of Miss Piggy's eyes. Put a little bit of melted white chocolate on the back of each and stick them almost in the centre of the eye but just slightly off to one edge. And then just use your finger just to push them down so that you're blending that blue into the white of the eye. Take a really small amount now of either pink fondant modelling chocolate or pink taffy like I'm using and you just want to fashion it out into a little ball and then squish it out. You want to use your scissors to cut that ball about two thirds of the way down and that's just going to give you like a little Kermit tongue shape. Now you want to roll a really tiny little ball of your fondant now or your taffy and you just want to taper it at each end so it's a bit thinner at the end and then turn it into like a little half circle just to make a really cute little pink mouth shape for Miss Piggy. While you've still got your taffy or your fruit chew handy, just take a really small ball and you want to squish it out into a flat circle about the same size as the blues of Miss Piggy's eyes. Then you want to cut that in half, which is going to give you two very similar sized semicircles, and just use the stick from the taffy just to apply them to the top quarter of Miss Piggy's eyes to give her a little bit of pink eye makeup. Back to Kermit. Now your little chocolate seal should be nice and set and your Kermit head should be really, really firm. So you want to take your two sixlets and your tongue and get them at the ready 
and then you want to dip your Kermit into the green candy melts. Make sure you give this a really good dip because the trouble you're going to have is getting the green candy melts into the crease of his mouth. So when I tap it, the first taps that I do, I'm actually leaning him on the back of his head to force that chocolate into the back corners of his mouth. Now, while it's still wet after you've tapped off any excess, you want to apply those two eyes sort of relatively spread apart on the top of his head and then as quickly as you can get that pink mouth in there. If at any stage your chocolate starts to dry, you can just apply a little bit more chocolate to get that to stick. And then you want to take a tiny dot of that melted yellow or the lighter colored chocolate and just use it to glue down your little pink semicircle tongue. I just like to kind of push it in with the toothpick so it's really nice and close to the back of Kermit's throat. Take your edible marker now and you can also use just a little bit of food coloring or something here and you want to do Kermit's eyes. Now these are essentially just like a larger round dot in the center of the eye with a little tiny line coming out on either side as you can see here. That's pretty much your Kermit cake pot ready to go. So you want to take your little printable template and just cut out a little section from the neck for Kermit's head to fit in. Make sure that it's going to fit in there nicely and then hold it up against the straw, a little bit of sticky tape, turn it over and sticky tape Kermit's body on. Kermit's now complete, so let's move on to Miss Piggy. Make sure that you've got the tapered down cheekbones of Miss Piggy facing you and then take those two little marshmallow ears and just use some of that melted skin coloured chocolate just to stick them down or glue them to the top of the cake pop bowl. A little bit more of that melted chocolate on the very front centre and use that to pop the M&M on for your little piggy nose. Once those have completely set, you can dip your cake pop bowl and make sure that you don't dip too roughly because you don't want to knock any of those details off. And then just tap off any of that excess chocolate while turning your cake pop. Use your finger just to run around the bottom so that you're keeping the nice shape of Miss Piggy's head and she's not getting a big long neck or anything. And while that chocolate is still wet, take your two eyes and put them nice and evenly spaced because they're quite far apart, sort of below each of the ears on the front of Miss Piggy's face. Don't push them down too much into the chocolate or you're going to get saggy baggy under eyes. Now once your chocolate's dried, you can use your toothpick just to make a couple of kind of little comma shapes in the very front of the nose to give her her little piggy snout. And then you want to apply her eye makeup. So once again, the edible marker is perfect for this, but you can also use food color and you just want to trace along below the pink eye shadow, coming right across that blue of the eye all the way to the end, kind of like nice eyeliner. Then give her just a nice little dot in the center of the eye. Repeat that with both eyes and then you want to take your little tiny taffy mouth or your fondant mouth, a little bit more of that white chocolate and just a really tiny bit on the back and use that just to glue it down right underneath Miss Piggy's little snout. Pour some of that yellowish chocolate into your Ziploc bag and just snip off a tip. Not too thick here, you can see the line that I've kind of got. We're going to use this to make some hair. So I like to start with just a few squiggles going around the side and the back because that way you can get a good feel for how you want to squiggle and you're kind of practicing on the bits that aren't going to be seen so much. For her hair, I like to part Miss Piggy's hair on the left. So just start a little bit closer to the ear on the left hand side and bring that chocolate down so that it's coming all the way down to her chin and then on the right hand side you sort of have like a little bit more fringe or a bit of a fuller fringe on that right hand side. You can use your Ziploc bag full of chocolate just to build up the sort of curls around her face to give her more of a thicker and more lustrous looking hair but just wait till the layers underneath have dried before you add more layers on top. Once again with your little printable template, once all of your hair is done, just take a couple of pieces of sticky tape. You'll probably need two here because her body's a little bit bigger and sticky tape it straight down onto that straw. There's your Miss Piggy ready to go. I love these Muppets cake pops. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. This video was requested by you guys and made for you guys. So if there's something else you want to see me make, make sure you let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks very much for tuning in to My Cupcake Addiction.